Good morning. Love you. Love you. Love you. How are you doing? Today is day 10. Where has time gone so quickly? It's a chilly winter uh, morning, I was going to say, but it's 12 noon. It's a chilly winter's day. So I'm nice and cozy with my scarf. I'll show you my finish, my finish Scandinavian feature. My dancing boots. Do you like them? <laughs> it's to show you that you can do this dance, this movement, without any limitations. Whether you're at home, whether you're wearing normal clothes, whether you're wearing shoes, shoes or not, these are really sturdy, heavy duty felt little boots. It doesn't matter. So there really is no reason why you can't do this. So I wanna know how you are doing after 10 days. Some of you have been doing this live with me Congratulations for sticking with the lives. Some of you have been watching the replays. Congratulations for watching the replays. Some of you set intentions, but you haven't followed through for yourself. Um, so just pause to reflect on that, because those of you who would have been consistent in doing this practice, whether live or watching the replays, you have already recorded great experiences and great results. That means the transformation you intended is taking place. The key is to witness what it is. Big or small, not to judge it. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for your service. You are such a great, um, unconditional uh, example of your service. You just share, 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 share to spread the message, which is wonderful. We truly need this in today's world. We need the connection back to oneself because that will bring us closer to one another. That will bring us connected more back to Mother Earth and our planet. And we truly, truly need that. So, um, today we're just going to dance. I introduced you yesterday to the uh, calligraphy healing uh, field here. Let me just move my camera a little bit so you can, you don't need to actually see it. I'm showing it to you so you, that you can see that the field is present here. It is creating a very positive, highly, highly positive information field for you where this transformation is amplified. So today we're just going to dance for the messages you had for the intentions. Then I'm going to uh, remind you that you can join me in a dance class Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Sydney time for um, the Dancing with the Elemental Forces. What is this? How can I help myself? I'm always so sad. Keep dancing. Keep dancing, Lisa. Because uh, the sadness is... Um, if it's sadness, it's related to the lungs, the physical body organ lungs. It's related to the, um, the metal element. It's an imbalance. And if it's chronic, if it's long term, it takes a while, not just a quick 15 minute practice for 10 days. It's not gonna fix everything for you. But the great results can come through. So just keep dancing, uh, Lisa. Keep dancing more and longer and more consistently, okay? 
Oh, Archana, wonderful. Welcome, Susan. Great you're here. Um, and then I want to remind that those of you with very serious health conditions, there is a six-week powerful dark calligraphy healing field wellness program starting. And that may be for you. So the registrations are closing in a day or so. So you can uh, let me know if you need guidance around that program. Those are other options uh, for you. <clears throat> then I have another message. Those of you who have been consistent with this practice and you have witnessed your results, if you're willing to put it in writing, where you gain the benefit that you really go through, you put the energy into going, yeah, this happened, this happened, you're actually magnifying it. If you're willing to do that, if you're willing to put that in writing to me, I will offer a personal uh, healing and transformational service for you as a gift, if you're willing to do that. Because it's about service, it's about sh sharing what the results are and have been for you um, with others so they too can find, you know, my purpose is to share this with women who need to reconnect with their inner happiness, the joy, the freedom. You know, I was riddled with anxiety, worry, fear. Um, in my corporate days, I was very entrenched in the corporate world and I was riddled with these negative emotions. Everything I did came from the perfect, uh, perspective of perfection because I was so worried about, you know, making a mistake, not getting it right, being judged, being criticized, you know, whatever else. Um, so I tried to control everything. And, and everything I did to get it right and to get it perfect. And I was so worried and so fearful. And it was such a prison. It was such an inner prison made by nobody else but myself. That is not my reality today. Um, and especially for emotions, moving, movement practice is gold. Because, Lisa, this is to your point. So that's my reason, but that's my MO, why I want to share this. And why I'm encouraging you to share your results in writing so we can share the experience with more people. That's my purpose. Um, for Lisa, emotion, the word emotion comes from a Latin word, ex movere, which means energy moving out. So when you move the body, the energy can move out more easily, more quickly, more effectively. More effectively means more completely. And you will literally in the moment instantaneously feel better because the energy ex movere, the emotion has had the vehicle, the vessel, the means to move out and therefore transformed. Remember I said yesterday, I think it was yesterday, please forgive me if it wasn't, I know, because I say this a lot, we cannot get rid of anything. We as human beings, we have a tendency to desire to get rid of this pain, to get rid of that pain, to get rid of that emotion, to get rid of feeling like this. We can't get rid of anything. We cannot get rid of energy. We cannot say, I'm gonna take this energy here that's around my uh, abdomen and my ribs that is painful and I'm just gonna get rid of it and make it vanish. The only thing we can do is we can transform energy. Pay attention to that. That's why this whole practice series is about transforming whatever the negative message is into a positive one. That's why it's a transformational practice. It's not getting rid of practice. Okay? Why is it that we have a sadness is a negative emotion? 
there is a message. Remember I said there is a message, there's an instruction, there's a piece of information that is causing that negative message um, to manifest as the negative emotion of sadness. So we need to go back to that message, back to that information, back to that piece of instruction that is the root cause, the instigator of that emotion of sadness. I know I said I wasn't going to teach in these sessions and there I've given you a whole bunch of teaching. Sorry, it's just the way it flows. Um, and you don't need to, with your logical mind, you don't need to know the root cause. Why do I have this negative piece of instruction? All you got to do is say hello, give the positive message, and then we're just going to move and dance. What more easier way do we need to transform the negativity? It's so simple. So let's just do it. Okay, last day. Let's just let's just dance. Really allow yourself, give yourself the message that you're just gonna let yourself move freely and not worry about this and that. Okay? Because the more you do that, the more you're focusing on that, and what you focus on grows, magnifies, amplifies. So if you're focused on, wow, I'm just gonna dance and move, that's more how you're going to feel because that is what you're focusing on that is what you're going to experience more and more okay deal let me see what uh, oh Lisa says thank you so much I'm going I am going to take that wonderful great excellent okay so let us focus now what is your message for transformation for today or like for Susan for the whole 10 days. Her focus was vertigo. Yota had ankles, knees, and a third one that I keep uh, forgetting. Uh, there was asthma, allergies for Senly. Um, all of the reasons I'm gonna hold in my head, in my consciousness, in my awareness, the whole list of the posts on the blue purple post. And then I'm also holding a message of healing for a couple of people who have been in hospital. They've both been released from hospital. There's two people. They have been released from hospital. Isn't that great news? But they still need healing. So I'll hold a space. I'll hold a message in this healing field for all of your requests. For each of you together. So close your eyes and allow yourself to just move silently now with your eyes closed. Bring your focus first to your lower abdominal cavity. Visualize the light. Remember I said where golden light shines, sickness disappears. Sickness can be the negative emotions. It's more, in this context, a general term. And then repeat after me. Dear all of the information in my soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, in my whole being, in my entire presence, I love you, honor you, appreciate you, you have the power to transform any negative information, any negative messages into positive ones. Please do so now. Please guide my body to move, to dance, however appropriate for this purpose for this transformation. Transform any negative information, any negative messages, any negative energy, any negative emotions, and more into positive ones. 
so as to heal and transform and then make your request. Thank you so much. Then allow yourself to just move and flow. Breathe and close your eyes. Connect with your heart and soul. <clears throat> and allow the movement to come from your heart and soul. And gradually bring the movement to completion. Ooh. You can open your eyes, smooth your shoulders, move your shoulders a bit, shake your arms, move your ankles, and just sway from side to side. 
You can place your both palms on your navel. Close your eyes as you keep swaying or rotating. Gather, as we used to do in every day, gather all of the energy that is positive, all of the frequency, all of the positive information. Gather it into your lower abdominal cavity. Think, feel, see, imagine, or visualize it forming this powerful light bar to boost your engine, to boost your core, to stabilize and calm the emotional body, and so much more. Inhale, exhale. And we close the practice by saying the affirmation three times. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good. Shake it out, shake it all about. How do you feel now? I can see that there's some comments. Let me see. It's 7.30 a.m. in India, right? Um, yeah, so the earlier times have been a little early. But you know, Archie, uh, you can go and watch the replays of the previous sessions. Uh, welcome, Alan from Toronto. Welcome, beloved Gina from Hawaii. Lisa says, there is a, there is a massage in the dance. Yes, there is, because this is not pre-choreographed. You're not following a routine. It's not a set of instructions that, 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 that's created by a logical mind. Because this comes from your inner deeper knowledge, wisdom, and intelligence. And from your inner healing power. You're absolutely right. There is a massage. There is a massage. There's a healing. There's a transformation. There is a clearing. There is a balancing. There's a harmonization. There's everything and anything exists in that. So you're right. Absolutely. Great experience and observation. Well done. Good work, Lisa. Wow, spring around, sp oh, spin around maybe, spin around and around, letting the massage come down. Oh, wonderful, good work, Lisa, that's excellent. <laughs> How about that? That's awesome, I love it. Good. Oh, Rosetta, we're just about to close. You just came in. Watch the replay, Rosetta, because today is the last day and you've had some... Go back and I made some specific announcements at the beginning. So I um, want to remind especially that those of you who have been doing this consistently uh, or, you know, mainly the criteria is those of you who are willing to really pay attention, reflect and be a witness to your own transformation, your own experience, if you're willing to put it in writing to me, I will offer you personal um, uh, healing and transformation service in return so that we can spread this knowledge of this kind of movement and dance to many, many, many more people. So go back to the beginning if you missed it and listen to those. And I invite you to dance with me on Sunday mornings with the Elemental Forces. And those of you who really uh, need to heal uh, long-term chronic conditions, I invite you to join the Dow Calligraphy Healing Field Wellness Program starting this Saturday. You've been dancing in this uh, Dow Calligraphy Healing Field, but there is uh, a six-week very, very comprehensive healing program that offers so much so generously. I'm part of the teaching team. I'm part of the facilitators uh, for you. Um, you can find out more uh, about it. Let me know um, if that is for you. Have a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful Thursday or Wednesday night if you're in, um, in the US. 
and I look forward to seeing you very soon. I look forward to hearing from you. Love you. Bye for now.